Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about Jenkins and Windows 10, and specifically how to install Jenkins on Windows 10 in the easiest way possible. The only prerequisite is that you got a JDK installed, but if you got that, I'm going to make a Jenkins install on Windows 10 easy. Here's the absolute easiest way to install Jenkins on Windows or Ubuntu. Just head over to the Jenkins IO slash downloads page and click on generic Java war package and allow that Jenkins war file to download. You'll see a bunch of other intimidating options like Docker, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, there's even Windows there. But you know, it doesn't matter which one you're using. If you actually download the war file, that's gonna be enough, assuming you've got a Java runtime environment, JDK, installed on your local machine. So you can see that Jenkins war file has downloaded. After it's downloaded, you wanna move it to a more permanent place on your hard drive. I got a folder called underscore tools where I put all of my important continuous integration and continuous deployment tools. There's Git, there's Gradle, there's Maven, there's Ruby. And there's also a folder for Jenkins, which I'm gonna paste the Jenkins war file right in there. Now you notice there's also a link to a DOS command prompt in there. You wanna open up that DOS command prompt and in, with the, that war file in that folder, I'm gonna do a DIR just to make sure that the Jenkins war file is there. So in the same folder as the Jenkins war file, you wanna just type in java-jar jenkins.war. This will now start up war and essentially do the installation of Jenkins on your local hard drive for you. It'll also start open, it'll also open up a port, uh, a port, uh, port 8080 for Jenkins and you'll be able to access Jenkins on localhost port 8080. Now you'd also notice that the first time this runs, it prints out a hexadecimal key. You'll wanna copy that key because the first time you run Jenkins, Jenkins wants you to prove that you're on the same computer that Jenkins is running on, or at least have access to it, and it forces you to type that code in. So I'm gonna copy that code, and I'm gonna go to localhost 8080, and when localhost 8080 runs for the very first time, it's going to say, hey, congratulations, uh, you just uh, ran that Jenkins war file, but I need that special long key. So I've just pasted that key in there. Notice it also says that you can find that key in that folder there. When Jenkins runs for the very first time, it sets its own Jenkins home into owner slash dot Jenkins. So all the configuration for Jenkins is right in here. If you actually wanted to see that secret, you could uh, open it up right there in notepad and boom, there you go. Okay, well with that pasted in there, I can click continue. I'm not gonna save that particular password. I'm gonna install all of the suggested plugins, which gives me access to Ant and Gradle and Git and the pipeline types of jobs and a couple of other interesting things as well. You notice there's no Maven plugin, but Maven's actually baked pretty heavily into the tool. So even though you don't see a Maven plugin here, You'll actually be able to uh, access uh, top-level Maven tasks inside of your builds regardless. Okay, and with all of the default plugins installed, you're, it's time to create an admin user. I always like to just create a user called Jenkins, password Jenkins, full name Jenkins, and Jenkins at example.com. Now, I like doing this on training machines just so it's easy to remember the username and password. You probably don't want to do that in production, but I'll click save and continue. So I've got my new user and now it says, hey, you're ready to go on localhost 8080, which I'm actually already on. So it looks like Jenkins is a, a little bit behind the times, but I'll click start using Jenkins. And now I am introduced to the Jenkins console version 2.263. And if you just want to test to make sure everything's working, why don't you just create a little Hello World build job? So click New Item, Hello World, create a freestyle project, click the OK button. This sets up the a basic Jenkins build job for you. There's really not too much you want to do here other than just kind of look at some of the options. If you're on Windows, you can add a Windows batch command step. If you did this on Ubuntu or Linux, you'd want to execute a shell. But I'm just going to, I'm on Windows, so I'm going to say execute a Windows batch command. And I'm just going to say echo hello world. Click apply, click save. Then I can just click this build now button and that Jenkins build job will run. 
you'll see the blue sphere that indicates it was successful. We don't have green balls, we have blue spheres. I can click on the build job, look at the console output, and there you go. It says hello world right back to me. And there you go, that's how easy it is just to configure all of this. Now, one thing I will say, uh, some people like to just create a, a batch file in here so I can create a, a new text document and call it start jenkins.bat. And then in here, I can edit it. So right click, I'll say edit with notepad. And then I can just write that command in here. I can say java-jar jenkins.war. Click control S to save and close the window. And now from now on, anytime I wanna start Jenkins, I can just double click on that batch file. Now, some people often say, well, how do you stop Jenkins? Well, just close that DOS window. That DOS window is gone. Now, if I try and access localhost 8080, uh, I'm in a world of hurt because localhost 8080 doesn't uh, have a port running on it anymore. But just double click that start Jenkins.bat. It's all reconfigured there. Jenkins starts up in a, a hurry. And then next time we go to localhost 8080, well, Jenkins is there and we can log back in again. And there you go. That's how easy it is to start up Jenkins, install Jenkins and uh, get Jenkins running from a batch file. And there you go. That's how you install Jenkins on Windows 10 using that Jenkins war file. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials over there on Jenkins, Windows, enterprise software development, DevOps, you name it. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my handle is at CameronNCNZ. And as always, please subscribe on the YouTube.